Hi dear friends, my name is Arun. Welcome to SolveWorks video tutorial series. In this series, we are going to cover different platforms provided by the SolveWorks software. There are mainly four platforms are providing by the software. The first platform is 2D platform where we can deal with uh, 2D figures. And in the second platform where we can convert the 2D into 3D that is called the feature platform in SolveWorks. The third platform is called the assembly platform. In assembly platform we can combine the 3D together to make it as an assembly with the mates and relations. So the fourth platform is the very important one that is called the analysis and simulation. In SolveWorks it is providing a wide variety of different analysis including static analysis, dynamic analysis, thermal analysis, then fatigue test, uh, drop test etc. And the CFD part of SolveWorks is called the flow simulation. It's very 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 powerful tool and also there is an additional tool it is called the sustainability analysis for checking the sustainability of your project or uh, the carbon footprint and all those details that we will discuss in the upcoming videos. When we are comparing the SolveWorks software with the other softwares we know that a number of different softwares are available uh, there for the industrial and education purposes like a CATIA, PROE, now PROE is c uh, converted to CREO. So we have uh, IDEAS, uh, ANSYS, uh, Fluent. So uh, ANSYS and Fluent are analysis perspective and all other softwares are simple for the CAD design. When we are comparing these softwares uh, with uh, SolveWorks, I strongly recommend SolveWorks for the educational purpose. The reason is this is the only one providing same platform for all CAD related solutions. 2D, 3D, assembly as well as the analysis can be done by using the same platform. So it is better to start with SolveWorks so that you can you will get all different aspects of uh, CAD related uh, problems. And before moving to our syllabus, just have a look on the screen. This is a pill or capsule dispenser uh, done by the students as their project. When you are comparing this project, you can see that by using this software, you can easily convey your idea with the concerned people like the professors or to the clients. By this way, SolveWorks software is actually simplifying the process of communication and you can uh, explain individual parts and taken it to the next level analysis. And you can also show the analysis before actual manufacturing. So, and uh, now we can have a close look on the syllabus, uh, which includes what are the things we are going to discuss in the upcoming uh, videos. Yes, here we have the syllabus for our video tutorial series. We already have started with the introduction. In the second session, we will have discussed about basic settings, which includes how to set the unit and snap and how to add new tools to different platforms like 2D, 3D assembly platforms and you can customize the mouse and keyboard according to your convenience and that we will discuss in the basic settings. So the third part is the actual real drawing that is a 2D drawing by using Solver Sketch. We will uh, familiarize with the drawing tools and we have a set of editing tools for the editing purposes and how to add a different kinds of dimensions and uh, how we can make uh, relations between two entities for making a completely constrained uh, sketch. And then we'll have some uh, exercises or two to three exercises to familiarize with the combination of uh, combi combined usage of drawing, editing, relations and dimensions. So that's our plan in um, session three that is 2D drawing. Move to session four, we'll have the 3D drawing. We'll convert the 2D into 3D in this particular platform. 3D conversion, the 3D editing tools, how to create different reference geometry including the plane and axis etc. Instant uh, 3D axis is there and uh, there also we have the exercises. We will do 5 to 6 exercises over there and move to the assembly. You know that once we complete the 3D we can combine all different components 
uh, that we have drawn by using the 3D in the assembly platform. We will use mate options uh, for uh, joining them together by maintaining the degrees of freedom most importantly and then we can check the interference detection and check the collision and have the motion study the bill of materials exploded view and the animations as you seen in the uh, previous slide so that's about the assembly in the fifth part sixth part is static analysis static analysis finite element analysis part where we will start with uh, taking the components to the platform then we will add the material how to apply different kinds of material and setting different constraints and boundary conditions applying different types of load the force pressure torque etc the discretization process the machine and then in the result portion we can generate different charts like stress strain displacement factor of safety the best part uh, uh, for me is the optimization we can have the size optimization the um, uh, material optimization by using the software itself rather than giving uh, the values directly uh, by using uh, or manually we can make some options over there in the optimization pattern of static analysis that will give you the various result and also the comparison from that comparison you can select the best model as an optimized result so that we will discuss in the sixth session then we have the sustainability analysis as I mentioned earlier sustainability analysis is one additional tool provided by SOLIDWORKS it's very powerful and uh, we will provide one uh, handout a, a very uh, proper handout for your downloads also see in the last session that eighth session we will have an introduction of SOLIDWORKS CAM the happy news for all SOLIDWORKS users is in 2018 version of SOLIDWORKS is coming with uh, a CAM pattern also CAM software pattern see and earlier we need to use master CAM or some other type of CAM software for converting the 3D into a part program here the SOLIDWORKS is providing the platform there you can select your uh, controller the your CNC controller Siemens or Fanuc or anything then you can convert your 3D model into a part program which is compatible with the, the particular uh, controller of CNC so we'll have a, an introduction to SOLIDWORKS CAM also so this is the complete uh, syllabus that we are going to discuss and I wish you all a very happy learning thank you so much we'll have the basic settings in the next session bye bye